Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the number pattern, which looks like this. That is 555544444333221. This kind of pattern we need to print, guys. So before writing the Java code for printing this pattern, let's gather few requirements for writing the logic. So first requirement we can gather is the number of rows. There. How many rows are there here in this pattern? One, two, three, four, five. So five is the number of rows. And also second requirement uh, we can gather is numbers regarding the numbers. How many numbers are there in the first row? One, two, three, four, five. Five numbers. Second row, four numbers. One, two, three, four. Third row, three numbers. One, two, three. Fourth row, two numbers. One, two. Okay. And fifth row, only one number. So one like this and also if you clearly observe guys in the first row all the numbers are the number five only the second row all the numbers are the number four only here all the numbers are number three only three 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 kind of okay here all the numbers are two only two two here all the numbers are one like that guys okay so how to get this kind of pattern for that let's get started writing the logic for that first thing we need to consider here is the number of rows guys that is five rows here we need to write the for loop which will iterate how many times five times okay if the rows are five, we have to write the for loop, which will iterate five times. So how to write that logic here before writing int i is equal to one. OK, i. OK, i less than or equal to five, i plus plus. This this for loop will iterate five times, that's for sure. But here, guys, uh, the numbers are starting with five, four, three to one, right? So it's not like one, two, three, four, five. They are like uh, five, four, three to one. So what we can do is we can do a small change to this for loop. Okay, this for loop has to at the end for loop has to iterate five times, but don't have to start with one guys. We will start with five and we'll make it reverse greater than or equal to one. I minus minus will do. This also will iterate five times, right? The first iteration I will be five guys because we want to print five here, right? Here in the first row, we want to print five. That's why we'll start this I with five. Okay, then keep on reducing the value. In every iteration, the value of i will be reduced. So five rows will be printed. That's fine. Inside this for loop, we'll create another another for loop that is inner for loop. Here we'll say int j is equal to one, j less than or equal to i. Why I'm writing this logic j less than or equal to i? The because this is because if you can clearly observe here, the number of numbers in the first row should be five, right? So that means in the first row it should be five. When i is equal to five. When i is equal to 5 in the first iteration, when i is equal to 5, this for loop should iterate how many times? 5 times. That's why I have written j less than or equal to i. That means starting from 1 till j becomes i, that is 5. 1 to 5. So 5 times this for loop has to iterate. Inner for loop also has to iterate 5 times for printing this number 5. How to print the number 5 here? Simple guys. If you print this i, that means here, inside this for loop, if you print the value of i, that means 5 will be printed, right? System dot out dot instead of print ln, we have to make it print. And here we will be printing i along with some space guys. After i will be providing some space because you see once phi got printed, a space should be given. Again, phi got printed, space should be given. That's the reason we are providing space also. Now guys, see that uh, in the first iteration, i will be phi. When i is phi, here the inner for loop will iterate how many times? Five times because starting from one till j becomes five. That is one to five. That means five times this for loop will iterate. Every time it iterates, it will print the value of five. That is five will be printed along with spaces. Five space, five space, five space, five space, five space, like that. So after printing all the fives here, we have to go to the new row, right? For that purpose, after this for loop, we have to provide system dot out dot print ln statement. This will take you to the new row. Before printing the, before going to the next iteration of this for loop, so we'll go to the new line like this. The control will come from here to here. Okay, before printing force, it will come here. Now, I minus minus will happen. I will become four. Here, starting from J is equal to one till four. J less than or equal to I means one to four. How many times this for loop will iterate? One to four means one, two, three, four, four times. Four times the current value of I, that is four will be printed. Four space, four space, four space, four. Four space, four space, four space, four space, four space. like this. Again, the control will come to the new line because of this print ln statement. Now I will become three. When I becomes three, starting from j is equal to one, j less than or equal to three. So one, two, three, three times. 
three times i will be printed current value of i is three so three space three space three space will be printed done after that again control will come to the new line because of this print ln i will become two so starting from j is equal to one j less than or equal to two so one two only two times this for loop will iterate every time it will print two so two space two space done now i will become finally one so j is equal to one j less than or equal to one only one time this for loop will iterate and uh, that time it will print the current value of i that is one will be printed along with space one space will be printed here okay one and space will be printed after that we'll go to the new line and i will become zero this condition will become false and it'll come out of the for loop so this logic will print the required pattern that is 5 4 3 2 1 pattern let's run this code and see whether we are getting the expected pattern or not you see the expected pattern got printed so hope guys you understood how to write the java program to print the number pattern that is 5 4 3 2 1 pattern so that's it guys thank you bye